What's going on, fellow Walking Dead fans? Solid Dave Snake back here, bringing you a new review on the Walking Dead TV Series 8 action figures by McFarlane Toys. And in this review, we're going to take a look at the GameStop exclusive, Carol, or as a lot of us have dubbed, the Terminus Salt Carol. And before we dive into this action figure, let me just say GameStop, out of all the stores that have gotten exclusives for the Walking Dead action figures, have handled them the best. Um, in the past, Walgreens and Target have really mishandled these exclusives with um, not all the stores getting them at the same time, uh, big gaps in between releases from the series they're supposed to be in, and some stores not even getting them at all. Uh, GameStop was completely different. Now, they did get them almost a month later after the date they were expecting, but whenever they did get them, every single store across the country, every single GameStop, got them in on the same day and had enough stock of each carol to suffice all the fans that wanted it. Whereas a lot of people that are looking for the other exclusive in this series, the Target exclusive Tyrese, if they haven't found it in stores, they're going to have a real hard time finding it and probably end up paying a higher price online off of eBay, eBay or elsewhere. So, uh, kudos to GameStop. I just wanted to say that before we get into this. And now let's just dive right into this carol. This is based off of her look from the Season 5 opener, Episode 1, No Sanctuary, whenever she covered herself in zombie gore, kind of like Michonne, and assaulted Terminus and saved all the survivors. And basically, this is the same action figure, at least the base body, that came in TV Series 6 for Carol. It is the same exact body mold, However, we do get a new head sculpt and a lot of new cool accessories. So I will compare them again once I show off the accessories. But first off, she does come with Daryl's crossbow. And this is the same exact crossbow that has come with the previous Daryl releases from the Daryl with the bike onward. Every single Daryl except Gravedigger Daryl has come with this crossbow from the bike onward that deluxe bike set so if you have broken a crossbow or just are in need of an extra one this is a good way to get it because you are not going to be able to use it with this carol now you could have her holding it but uh, she did not use it in the episode and just had it slung over her shoulder which the strap is not long enough to get over the bulky plastic piece, uh, poncho piece. But it is cool to get another crossbow, just an extra accessory. But her best accessory is this decked out M4 assault rifle, which she used in this episode. I'll give you a good up close look at this. Now this is a new piece. It does look similar to the previous M4s we have gotten. It is black with some silver dry brushing coming through to give it a nice worn look. But it does have an added scope on the top and bipod, which is actually functioning. You can fold it up in either direction. However, I believe it was forward in the episode. And it does come with a sling too, however, I do not like this sling at all with the way they have it wrapped around right here. It just looks bulky, and actually after this review, I'm going to remove mine. However, the rest of the strap does look good, it has little buckle details, however, they're not painted. But all in all, a great representation of the assault rifle she used in the episode. And she does hold it pretty well. Her articulation at the arms is pretty nice. However, a little restricted from her poncho. And I'll give you a good look of this poncho on her. And a lot of people say they would have preferred cloth. And yeah, I always prefer cloth as well in action figures with overgarments compared to hard plastic. But this is a softer plastic. So at least it's not totally hard. 
However, it is molded to where you're going to want her arms in a raised position to hold the rifle. As you can see, if I do that, that is how the poncho folds down over her arms. So that's the natural look for this action figure. And it does fit over nice. Once you get it all the way down, it holds on there really well. And it really does have a lot of gory detail to it with the guts thrown all about. And even painting these guts a nice uh, pinkish tone compared to the blood red on the actual poncho. And there is a nice fade from the blood to the color, color of the poncho, which is a very nice touch. So I do love all that gore and comes off very easily and goes back on very easily. And I'll give you a quick look at it off of her. So yeah, I would have preferred a actual cloth piece, but then we wouldn't have gotten this sculpted in detail with the gut. So maybe it's better they went with this. And that nice transition from the blood to the cloth on the front as well as the back. So really cool pieces, and actually I can picture this poncho being used for a lot of customs, especially right now where we're at, in, uh, at the end of mid-season finale of season 6. And if you've seen up to that point, I think you catch my drift. So pretty cool. But now let's get an up-close look at this new face sculpt from Melissa McBride's Carol, which does look a lot more like the actress and it'll be very noticeable whenever I pull the other one up here sculpt is ten times better even the hair which in this new one we actually have blood <laughs> bleached in there with her hair but the gray tones are still in there So, one more comparison up close here. A lot better. I'm glad they corrected it because they will probably use this head sculpt on the next Carol action figure we get. And they did do a good job of showing the dried up blood on her face. I think that came out pretty good. And her eyes came out a lot better on this one than the previous one. But... Below her head, from the torso down, arms, legs, everything is exactly the same as that TV series eight or TV series six Carol release. So nothing new down there, articulation wise, sculpt wise, or anything. And she does still have the sheath for her knife, so they really should have included her knife as well. I know they had some nice new accessories in here. But that would have been pretty cool. And the articulation is exactly the same as the previous Carol. So if you want to see the articulation, I'll put a link in the description down below to my review for the TV Series 6 Carol. So you can go check that out. So, Alright guys, this will wrap up my reviews for the Walking Dead TV Series 8 action figures. I hope you enjoyed all of them. And I will catch you back for the Walking Dead TV Series 9 action figures. But there will be a lot of other stuff in between. I will have my collection videos uh, being updated here very soon. So stay tuned guys. I'll catch you later.